Good morning, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Um, we have a packed. Oh, I, just, I sent out a Wednesday email. Yes. So if you have, and in that very important Wednesday email, I ask you to bring extra tickets you haven't sold, money, and a toy. And we'll just keep asking for toys again and again. It's okay. You have until next Thursday. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's so that's next Thursday. Um, so let's meet our uh, guests and visiting Rotarians. Good morning, President Vanessa and Club. This is Garcia. I'm sorry, I'm saying Shaper, and she is um, moving up here to the San Diego, and she's looking at Old Town, and that's just a morning person. Off. Oh, and then we have Lynette Mullen. She's going to be our presenter later on this morning. Yay! And more on her here. Um, do we have any interaction? No, oh, they have the day off, so they're not coming. It looks like. <laughs> um, Roby, we have a huge thank you to Rebecca, who is not here. Yeah. But we wanted to show you all of the hard work that happened. If you weren't at the, so it's the youth cross country race. It's so thank you. So many little little um, run for some. The little ones run for one mile. The bigger ones run for two miles. Um, but Rebecca really single handedly says, "Sure, our club will handle all the awards." And then and then Rebecca's um, husband Abe drives up with this huge wheel on the back of their their trailer and um, unload the whole thing with all the awards, the whole the whole bit, all the kids get to stand on there. Those are all the different age groups being awarded and honored. And every family is taking that picture of the rotary wheel it was just genius. And that wheel was originally created, I believe, my understanding is Scott Heller was the mastermind behind that. And um, and we haul it about. And this was just when I opened the paper and friends like, what is rotary doing? And we think it was all one event. It was genius. And thank you to Rebecca for making it happen. Scott Heller for making that great big deal. <laughs> and thank you to Romy all the time for keeping me on top of it. So thank you very much. <laughs> we have a, another. Now, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> We've been emailing. I didn't know which of the questions. <laughs> um, tickets, toys, update from Jeff. As you all know, Taste of the Holidays is this Thursday. Yay! This is the last announcement I get to do for the club on Taste of the Holiday. All right. So what we're what we're looking for this year. This year. Um so yeah, what we're looking for, as Vanessa said, is uh please bring a, a toy or something like that. You get a drink ticket when you bring a toy in for toys for tots. Um when you sell tickets or have sold tickets. Kids might want to just let them know this is a choice for tots of it. Um, you give your thank you. Um, ticket money. Um, it can either be Venmo if you received it, if you receive checks or something like that. Uh, give it to Brian or Sophie, and it'll get to the, to the correct place. So, um, so that's ticket money. Um, tickets. We also, if you um haven't sold um tickets or at the event um you want to turn in ticket money you can do that 
Um, but just try and get your ticket money in uh, to Brian as soon as you can. If not, bring it to the event. Bring any unsold tickets to the event. That will really help us uh, get the countdown. So we appreciate it. I think right now we're at around probably 300 by now tickets sold. We normally sell, what's that? 341. And we normally get around 600. In a, so, yep, halfway there, keep on going. Sell your tickets. Okay, that's enough on. Yeah, buy them, give them to your friends. Um, the last thing is the uh, sign up genius. Um, AJ sent that out. Um, if you haven't signed up, please do. It just helps us out. So um, we know that we're supported. So thank you. Is there anything else, Angela? Thank you. Cool. We'll see you all on Thursday. And then if you, I don't know how many people Venmo, but uh, we didn't ask you to put together raffle item or anything, but we're at, we need to finish the raffle items we currently have and make them amazing. So Venmo 20 bucks to the club and tell them it's for taste of holidays. I don't know how that's going, but just a reminder. Um, so thank you to, I think Chris and Lisa for hosting. This is your, yeah. So uh, it's already done this week, nothing after the meeting. And we'll be right back to, yes, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we did our house house lighting yesterday for all of the weekends. So we wanted to get it done early. Um, next week, we're dark on Friday. So um, on Thursday, um, we went to bed so everything can get done with the weekend. And then, and then we'll bring it to the community center. We're going to have, I think, HH Interview Site for Genius to do that. So that is <laughs> all part of also what will happen next Thursday while we're setting up for just the holidays. And then um, get us get to cover that afternoon. And then following Friday, we're dark. Mm -hmm. So we only have kids are out of school that week. So we only have a few more packings this year. So, so we're not doing anything the week of Thanksgiving now. Okay. Cool. That's right, John, right? Correct. And if Mike, if you're on the call, thank you very much. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, shoot. Does anybody have any um, details about Veterans Day? That's a little later in the thing. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Um, Howard, Cambodia. So I want to just say all of this fundraising, all of this effort, all of this money, we just keep asking you for money. This is where your money goes. And it's a wonderful, exciting thing. So let me just remind you about this project. It's a matching grant project where we're anticipating getting a match. So we'll have 4,400. I think we're, the club, we're actually giving 6,000 towards this project. And uh, this school in Cambodia that we've supported in the past, we've supported. One year we paid for everything, for all their uh, tuition expenses and uh, operating expenses through a global matching grant. And for uh, quite a number of years, we supported a, a, a whole class of students tuition for the year. And many of you individually contributed to particular student being supported. Uh, so this is about two, uh, it's about a hundred miles away from Winter Watt in Cambodia in a in, uh, uh, little uh, town there. A uh, Philly school for uh, uh, children have to come from uh, financially challenged families, families who are, uh, say, rice farmers, and uh, where the parents have not had much education and they would have to pay. The, the children went to school there. So this school provides free education to them 
only for those children who who need it to uh, you know, harm from harm from our family. So uh, what we're going to do with this project, it's a project that's costing, I forget the exact figure, but it's up around 200000 to replace the kitchen and dining room. Originally, uh, they, there was temporary structures that they built about 15 years ago for that, and it's been damaged due to uh, storms that they've had over the years. And so they wanted to uh, replace it with a, a more permanent structure. And we are providing all the furniture uh, and kitchen equipment and so forth for the facility. We're not allowed with matching grants to support any construction costs. So that's the you know, we can certainly be a great help. It's going to support about 300 kids uh, for their primary education uh, in Cambodia, which is a big, big deal. In fact, it's I've noticed the whole area has developed, I think, due to a few projects like this project that uh, put a lot of uh, improvement to the whole community. So thanks for your support. So I think you have a So um, it's generosity of spirit, it's generosity of time, it's generosity of money that makes these kind of huge things happen. And uh, so never stop at one. And uh, because you're Paul Harris plus five. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, Veterans Day, maybe. Do you know anything, Tom? Uh, let's see. The flag uh, ceremony is at four o'clock today. And uh, in the Southwest has a good one. It's at 11 p.m. At, at the Adorn Center. Uh, It'll be a flyover after that. Oh, yeah. too. Awesome. Oh, the cool. The car doesn't fly over. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. Does he, does Mike, do you know if he has all the people he needs for the four o'clock one? I believe so. He, he, yeah, I believe so. I'll okay. say that for right now. I'll be there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Uh, so, in a DEI moment, I learned about myself just yesterday. Uh, it's Native American Heritage Month. There is a speaker series going on on the, there's, just contact me for more details. There's a one on the 16th. I'm not sure what it's about. I've signed up for the one on the 30th of November. It's about otters and from 11:30 to one. It's up in the uh, Cat Poly. Uh, so that's our it's decolonizing sustainability speaking series. So it's going to be about how to how Native Americans would have would handle otters <laughs> or uh, not otters, uh, badgers. Uh, we have a huge board meeting that's very important coming up on Tuesday at Umpaw Lake, 7 a.m. There's going to be some re-delegation of duties, but we need to figure out what those are, and we need to figure out who we who can take on. Uh, somebody's leaving the club, and we need to, uh, we'll talk about that then. But if you're interested in taking on more duties and participating more, learning more about the board, if you are a red badger soon, uh, you have to attend two board meetings to, uh, on your on your mission to a blue badge. So come. A few snacks. Are you bringing them? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I usually bring them. They'll, they'll, there, there will be snacks. <laughs> Speak of the D. <laughs> oh. Terry, how about while well, well, I'll collect them? Okay, Terry, that's my thoughts. So, speaking of the Rotary Foundation, there used to be a program called Loop Study Exchange. And um, today on Veterans Day is kind of a cool time to talk about this because 20 years ago we did a Loop Study Exchange with Vietnam. So, five um, Rotarians from this district went to Vietnam for a month and five people from Vietnam came here. And it was a big deal. Four districts 
got special permission from the Rotary Foundation because there hasn't been Rotary in Vietnam since 1959. So we've had non Rotarians coming and um, we had a tax state. say GSE, which was the name of the program, and the Vietnamese flag and the American flag. And um, I was lucky enough to go to Vietnam twice. And it was um, it was healing and full circle and kind of wild because my dad was in the Navy for 34 years and he served in Vietnam. So sitting at a hotel in Hanoi saying, sending out emails saying greetings from Hanoi was just pretty amazing. And the Vietnamese who were here were um, fabulous ambassadors for their country. Uh, what we call the Vietnam War is referred to as the American War over there. And over half the people in Vietnam were not alive when that war went on. So it's a very young population. There's just lots. Anyway, Vanessa helped me clean out my garage a couple months ago. And there's some caps. And I would love to not go home with any of these. So please help yourselves if you would like. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Donate to the foundation and get your I think she would like that better. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought that moved about Yeah. <laughs> so now, AJ. Thank you, President Bob. Vanessa. Bob is well. Stephanie. Oh, wait, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is my privilege to conduct an induction ceremony to bring a new member to our club. Bob Judevine was proposed for a membership by Stephanie Owen. This proposal has been reviewed by the membership committee in accordance with club constitution bylaws. His name has been circulated and his application for membership has been approved. <laughs> the Rotary is defined as a volunteer organization of business and professional leaders united worldwide to provide humanitarian service to help those good relief. Club members meet weekly to plan service projects, discuss community and international issues, and enjoy fellowship. Clubs are non religious, non political, and open to individuals with diverse backgrounds. Rotary encourages high ethical standards in all vocations while striving to live and work by the four way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair and not concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you. Uh, Bob, we now proceed to admit you into membership into the Rotary Club of Arcade at Sunrise. And as a Fortuna president who served the same year I did, we extend our warmest welcome and to the Friendship of Rotary. Yes. Um, the ideal of Rotary serve is service, which is why our motto is service above self. And the object of all Rotary Clubs is to encourage and foster this ideal as a basis of worthy enterprise. And it is so exciting to see that you've already shared in the separate with our club. Uh, Bob, you've been approved for membership in the club because we believe you to be a worthy representative of your vocation, are interested in the ideals of Rotary, and willing to do your share in translating these ideals back. We've agreed to accept the obligations of membership in this club as people of action and to obey our club's constitution and bylaws. So I now have the pleasure of asking your sponsor to pin on your membership check, the emblem of the Rotary which we hope you will wear with pride of being a Rotarian, but also with humility of system. And at this time, I'd like to present you with your red badge. <laughs> the symbol of the club now. <laughs> As you remember, there's a path you will follow to achieve your blue badge status, and I know you'll achieve that in your time. This new member packet here contains information for you about our club um, and about Rotary National. You may have many questions in the coming weeks, and I encourage you to seek answers from your sponsor, Stephanie. Your mentor is correct. Uh, memberships of the membership committee, the club president, or any member of this club. So it is my pleasure on behalf of the board of directors and the entire club membership to welcome you to the Rotary Club of Arcade at Sunrise. <laughs> Fellow Rotarians, I'm happy and honored to present you our newest club member in the world. Bob Judevine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. 
Thank you. Congratulations. Um, I just want to say something very quickly. Uh, on the previous slide, it said get rid of bad return, which I think is appropriate. Every one of us in here has been a red badger behind. And we kind of take a step off into something brand new when you join Rotary. I think everyone here will agree that. That step of courage has benefited all of us, yourself and the club and the world. So I just want to say that. Yay. Yeah. Yeah.